Hey everyone, welcome back. Dev Spider here. So I think I figured out my microphone issue. I think it's something to do with the NVIDIA broadcast causing issues. So hopefully this doesn't sound too rough because it won't have the noise filter on it. Anyways, everybody's been getting onto me in the comments after the last video or two telling me that I needed to go to Estill and finish my quest lines there in order to get the auto miners. So I thought what the quest he gave us was just a repeat quest. So I've got the materials on me for him and to do the repeat for the blacksmith because I couldn't remember which one was which because we have blacksmith's apprentice and strike while the iron is hot. So blacksmith's apprentice is for Governor Estill. And the strike while the iron is hot is for Fred. We're gonna go ahead and turn in the materials to the governor first. All right, so right there, he just gave us blueprint coal miner, blueprint copper miner, blueprint iron miner, and 3,500 gold coins. Let's see, does he have anything else for us now? <laughs> right now he wants dry ice, simple poison, advanced tool repair kit, and an advanced weapon repair kit. So I'll have to get to work on crafting all that up to see if he'll give us anything else. But thanks guys for the comments, I really appreciate that. Sorry I hadn't got to the miners yet, that would have made life a lot easier. So now I'm sure I'm going to make some more iron runs to go get all those materials. So let's go ahead and talk to Fred, we're going to turn this quest into him if I still have enough materials for him. So now we're up to 95,000 gold. <laughs> like again, I probably just ended up buying nails or something with it. I don't really know what, we're, what else to do. So our current quest is Young Alchemist, we need to go back to our alchemy bench I guess and make a bunch of poison and stuff. So let me head over to the house and I'll start working on that right now. Hey everyone, so we're still working on crafting everything that we need in order to make the dry ice for the quest. I have gone ahead and made the craft or crafted the advanced weapon kits and the advanced repair tool kits that we needed. I've also gone ahead and made the simple poison. It's pretty basic materials and items for those if you've been killing everything throughout the way. Now we did go ahead and also build out these construction thing or these miners. So we have two coal miners right now two iron miners and two copper miners and of course I went ahead and built a coal and iron miner just to test this out so you might not notice the base might look the same right now but it's actually extremely different so if we come around the corner here you'll see that we have the iron miner right here now it's producing a bunch of iron for us which I've been grabbing off of that so you can see also tons of stone not sure what we're gonna do with all that stone then we have the coal working or the coal miner back here now this runs off firewood the iron miner itself runs off of coal so you just stack this full of firewood turn it on like you would anything else and it'll just grab us up a bunch of coal and you want to go ahead and build these out before you place your buildings i didn't know this but i can't really build any farther than like right here to come in this direction another thing that i've noticed that i have an issue with and anybody else that finds out a way to fix this or if there is a fix let me know but i built the second floor up here i cannot set any chest on the floor itself so i've tried putting chests all like, in every spot up here and it will not let me set down a chest or any type of items so far I, mean, I haven't tried putting down torches and stuff yet I don't really have any of those available right now but yeah trying to put down like, any chest up here is not let me do it or at least not on the wooden chest I haven't tried anything but the wooden chest so if someone else is able to plant on the second floor of a building let me know otherwise there's really no point in having stairs if you can't put anything down up there but yeah, I was having storage issues, so I was trying to fix that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and lay these things down just to get them out of our inventory space and out of the way. Now, if you're crafting these on the craft bench, they're worth 300 experience apiece. So when they're about to finish up, you might want to go ahead and just add those to... Alright, stand there for a second and get that 300 experience if you need it. Now, I think this is a cool feature, that, and I do like the way these are designed and look. The only thing I have a problem with is, do we need this much ore? Like, is there going to be another quest after the one we're currently working on? Like, <laughs> But we'll find out in a second, because I'm pretty much done with the dry ice quest too, so we'll go ahead and get that one done and knocked out. So we, like I said, we're going to lay all these out, so we can just kind of eyeball and see how good our place is going to look. It's going to look like an industrial park. <laughs> I kind of liked it without all the machines. Alright, let's go get these last two down and we should be good to go. Iron and then another coal one right here. So yeah, these definitely take up a ton of space. They take a lot to make too. They're fairly expensive as far as clay goes, so you're gonna have to do a lot of mining. I guess you could go buy the bricks if you wanted to, but I'm trying to craft everything right now just to get a feel for the crafting. Um, in case there's anything else after this that we need to do. But each one costs the same, so they cost 10 strong rope, 50 nails, 10 small blocking lumber, 20 can't timber 20 bricks and five simple parts each I keep saying five simple iron parts so maybe there is something after simple iron parts or maybe simple copper parts I don't know uh, we can always hope <laughs> so that's done let me think what else we've done we also came in here and went to the anvil we went ahead and built out a bunch of these improved vial molds like I said we had the gold we could have just gone and bought everything I only thing I bought were seeds and beets 
And then we came into here, we made some improved file molds after ha having to make the high strength glass and make the glass stand so we could make the simple files so we get plenty of those made up. We also had to make the big bottles. And that was in order just to get the sulfuric acid that we need. So we're, what we need right now, the hard part is the 15 dry ice, which a lot of people have been mentioning in the comments. So to make dry ice, it takes two pieces of ice, one piece of soda, one vinegar, one cooking salt, and one globber salt. So some of these ingredients aren't that bad. Like the soda is only two cooking salts and two lime carbonates plus one simple water vial, and you get the water vial back. So that's really not a bad recipe. The poison that we needed also, it's really easy. It's just two spider stingers and the two sulfuric acids, which that's not great or bad, but it is kind of expensive. So you can either go buy the improved water vials or you can buy the improved vials from a vendor in the market. Or if you want to, you can do like I just did and you can craft them to make 15 more. So I made a bunch of sulfuric acid here. And the reason is, is because we need to, like I said, make this clobber salt, which takes sulfuric acid plus sodium chloride. So to make the sodium chloride, we needed cooking salt plus one simple water vial. Water vial. And we needed 15 of those because, like I said, we need 15 dry ice, so that means we need 15 globber salts. So I'm going to queue up 15 of these. I'm going to turn that on. It takes firewood here to cook it. I'm probably going to grab a little bit more firewood. So then the other ingredient that this needed was cooking salt. Cooking salt, you just go get rock salt, and then you just put that on the grinder, grind it up. And then right here we have vinegar. Now vinegar was a little bit rough because vinegar requires us to make acetic acid and it takes a simple water vial. But to make the acetic acid, you need wine. Wine plus four <laughs> simple water vials that gives you four bottles of acetic acid and one big bottle, but you lose your I'm trying to think uh, you lose your small vials here, but you do get back one big bottle water bottle or one big you get sorry guys, I'm getting tongue twisted here. So you get one big bottle back from the wine jug itself, but you lose the simple water bottles because they all go into the acetic acid, which I guess you get those back when you come back to this side. No, you don't. You still lose one in the transition, it looks like. But you should. Anyways, so to make wine, hopefully you've been growing your gardens. I went ahead and, like I said, I put down three big ones here. We're growing beets. And the reason we're growing beets is you need beets to make sugar. I thought these were done growing. So we're gonna water these up really quick while we're talking. But yeah, you need beets in order to make the sugar. The sugar is then added to the wine, winery rack itself. And then you need grapes also, which we'll cover that in just a second. Let me go ahead and... My lows will finish up. The other one's already finished growing. So we can go ahead and collect these grapes here. I don't have to worry about the beets, because it's going to be a while before this is done cooking the sulfuric acid and stuff. Oh, no, actually, it's just done already. Okay, so now we have 15 parts of vinegar. We have all the cooking salt. We just need to make the globber salt. I thought we just queued the globber salt up. Maybe I'll just turn it on without queuing it up. <laughs> Alright, so we're making the salt now with the sulfuric acid and the sodium chloride. Let me see if I have any wood left over here. Hopefully we do. 19 pieces of firewood. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Alright, so once you have your grapes, make a note that your grapes are on a timer. So we have 14 grapes right here. We have 32 minutes on them before they go bad. Now a lot of this stuff takes a lot of time, like drying out your fruits and vegetables takes a while. So you're going to need empty vials in here, then you put the grapes in. It only crafts one at a time. Luckily this doesn't take too long, but once it finishes making this grape juice, you're going to need three of these per wine. And once it's finished, this goes onto a timer for about, I think, an hour and 20 minutes. And then when we get that, we come over here to the winery. This is where you'll use your sugar. Sugar, again, is made over here on the alchemist bench. So if you need sugar, it's two beets, one simple water vial. Again, bring that over here. So with three of those grape juices, plus two sugars, and you can see the recipe here, plus one spices, plus one big bottle, will give you one bottle of wine. Now wine, if you try to buy it in the market, market is, I think, 5,500 gold a piece. And then you can see here, it takes forever to cook. Now that wine's been cooking since last night when I started it. So, <laughs> yeah. If you're going to make the wine, you're going to want to start early. Otherwise, it's faster, in my opinion, just to run the big forest and just farm up a bunch of gold. And then as you can see, once you harvest crops, you get a ton of grape seeds or whatever vegetable you planted. You get a bunch of those back. So now that we have three of those, we can bring them over here, add this here. Let's go ahead and craft us another wine. So you can see, like I said, I have three crafting. Now those are, that bar is actually moving. It just literally takes that long for the wine to make. So we can press craft there, queue that one up, and then the ingredients won't go bad. So make sure you're doing that if you have the grape juice. Otherwise, like I said, you'll lose everything. And then, like again, you have to dry out these 
items to make the spices, you'll need the dried chilies, the dried red be bell peppers, and the dried black pepper. Once they're dried out, then you'll bring those inside to the mortar and pestle. Then you'll come to this far side. If you have that recipe, then you'll get the spices recipe. Make sure you don't grind them up unless they need to be whole. So make sure you don't make them into their own individual black pepper spice, chili spice, and paprika spice. But this is why cooking is so time consuming and painful. Because if you wanted to actually make real food in this game, you're literally going to need the spices to make most things that are worth having and selling. So like right here, well I guess not, right here is black pepper spice and cooking salt, plus one wooden flat plate, and one large chunk of meat. So you could actually stack up your plates to a maximum stack of 20 and then, I mean gold's easy to make once you start growing a lot of crops. But these are the big crop plants right here, so these are the, as big as you can build them. And that's just the four section. So four plants per crop. I guess, so I'm gonna let that globber salt finish. I'm gonna make up the rest of my mine. I'm gonna make up the rest of the wine. I think I just said mine a second ago, so I'm gonna try to cut that out. <laughs> but anyway, so once the salt finishes, then we will go and have to collect ice. Ice again is gonna be in the ice cave. If you haven't got the ice cave, go watch that video. It'll show you where to find the button and get the key and everything else that you need for the ice cave. And then that's gonna make dry ice, which I don't know if dry ice, it says last longer than general ice. So I'm assuming you're going to want to make all your ingredients because if it only lasts longer, I don't think that means that it's going to be permanent. So there's a good chance that it'll actually go bad if we don't make it fast enough. So that's why I've been sitting here making the 15 vinegar and everything else that we needed for it. So once I get ready to make that, guys, I will get back to this video. From there, I'm just going to cut down a bunch of trees because we need a ton of firewood to fire up these coal makers and to get the, all the iron stuff going. Because I'd like to get some more iron parts going. I don't really think I have that much left to make. I'm trying to think, do we have any? Yeah, the only thing I want to really make is a couple more iron chests, because, like I said, storage in here is just painful. And I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about a storage building. So I don't know if I could squeeze one, maybe back here or something. So I don't really go that far, because I wanted to leave this space open, but now I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanted to do. At least I don't think so. Maybe I can come out of the center of this building, because I was gonna bring this one all the way down here and make like an L, and then leave space for a garden over there. But with these big machines and not being able to get close to them, that kind of kind of ruin my plan. Let me go get this stuff done. We'll get the dry ice made up really quick and once I come back we'll grab the rest of these parts and go do turn the quest in and see what happens after that. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright everybody so we finally finished crafting the dry ice. It actually stacks up to 100. It does not look like it has a timer on it so maybe it only gets used if we put it into the ice cooling box. I'm not going to test it because we only have 15 pieces. Maybe I'll make an extra one later on and we'll test out the cooling box and see if it lasts forever or a lot longer. I'm assuming it, only, it's, it still goes back on a timer like coal. Then we have the 10 simple poisons and all the kits that we needed. So let's go turn that into the mayor and see what he wants next. Alright we're back at, uh, I keep saying mayor, I guess we're back at the governor Estil. So let's go and talk to him. Is that asking if we got everything he ordered sure did hit continue take the blueprint of a crusher as a reward for your good work the crusher will help you to filtrate metals from gangu gangu <laughs> Gang, I don't know what that really <laughs> You'll be getting more valuable resources than you get with the help of a pickaxe. Thank you for this pretty useful gear. So we just got 5,000 coins and the blueprint for the crusher. It's a workbench of a stonemason. Used to crush hard formation to separate valuable mineral resources from gang and also helps to increase the quantity of mined materials. So let's go see about building one of those. Next, so we learned the crusher recipe, then see what it takes to make. So blueprint crusher. Crusher is going to require 10 iron ingot. 5 copper ingots, 5 simple parts, 20 nails, 5 small blocking lumber, and 12 big cant timber. So I'm going to get all that put together really quick and I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, so we finished making the crusher. Let's go ahead and set it up and see how it works. So we're just going to put it on the back corner right here. So here's our crusher. If we go inside of it, it says uh, 1 coal, 1 iron ore. I'm assuming any kind of ore probably. And we just turn it on and it'll make the stuff for us. Let's go ahead and grab some iron ore. And then we're going to need some coal. I don't know if I have any left on this. Let's actually grab some stone, see if it'll make anything out of stone too, since it says it's for a stone mason. Add the coal to it, turn it on, see what happens. So the iron ore is in the crafting queue. And it's only using one piece of that, so let me grab a piece of copper too.
Okay, so I just made refined iron. It's a pure iron that has been cleaned from all kinds of elements and dead rock. And if we put that onto our smelter, it looks like it's crafting us up an iron ingot using the recipe for this refined iron. So it takes two pieces of that to make one iron ingot, and it takes one piece of ore in order for it to craft the refined stuff. So right now it's refining the copper for us on the crusher. It's not doing anything with the stone though, so I guess it's only for ore. It grabs some quartz to make sure it won't do anything with quartz. Yep, so it looks like it's only here for making the ore into a higher level of ore so that we get more materials from it. Now let's run back over to the mayor and see if there's anything else he needs us to do. Alright, so let's see what he has to say now. Says he doesn't have any tasks for us at the moment. Maybe we'll come back later to see if he has anything new for us. He's got a lot of work to do. So I think that's it and all the quests that we have to do. The rest are just repeatable quests you can do over and over again. So Carpenter's Apprentice. That's Eugene's repeat quest if you want to get paid over and over again. This is glorious to bring her 10 pelts, and then the other one is to take 10 small pieces of meat to Sebastian. So that'll give you a thousand gold and a thousand experience. That's how I like to level and make gold really fast, is I just make a couple, I make one trip to kill the mutant rats to get ice, and then I bring them back, add all that to the cooler, then I make a trip to the, for, the big forest, killing all the wolves and stuff, so just hug the right wall. For the most part, you'll make your way around, ignore the rabbits, kill the two foxes, kill a buck, then you'll come to three wolves, kill them. Then you head towards the entrance to the pond that's in the center of the big forest. You'll kill three wolves there, kill one boar next to the pond, come back out, make your way back around again. You'll find six more boar, one buck, and then you can kill a couple other things depending on your weight and how far you are in the game. Then you come back, harvest all the meat on the butcher block, and that should be enough to get you, I want to say like 15 to 30,000 experience per run between the pelts and the meat that you turn in. Plus you'll make a ton of gold really, really fast. Uh, from here, I don't know what we really have left to do. I'm trying to think. Uh, I guess the only thing we have left to do now in the game that we haven't done yet is to go fishing. Because we've pretty much built everything. We've done farming. And besides that, I guess we're just waiting on updates. So I'll come back and do some fishing. I do have a lot of equipment built up. I'm going to build up a little bit more and get all the fishing rods made. And so the next episode will just probably just be fishing. And then we might just have to call it there until the next update, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, leave it below. As always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.